Uh, let's get back to retail earnings now. Bring in Joe Feldman, Senior Managing Director and Assistant Director of Research at Telsey Advisory Group. Joe, great to see you. Thanks. Thanks, thanks for having me. In terms of Walmart, um, I think a lot of people are expecting a pretty solid holiday season, but we will be getting some commentary potentially on, um, you know, the month, the weeks after the holidays. What are you looking for? Yeah, we're hoping to see that the consumer has stayed resilient. Um, Walmart has described a consumer that's been trading down. They've seen more high income individuals shopping at their stores. And then the lower income shopper that they have has been trading down within categories. So we're curious to see if that's still the case. We're curious to see if traffic has sustained itself. They've been generating pretty good traffic relative to the rest of retail. And we think they were one of the winners for the holiday season. Now we just need to see them continue that into this year. Joe, we're seeing layoffs across a swath of industries. It's not manifesting itself in the unemployment rate. I think it's a matter of time. But let's just say this is becoming a trend. Who wins? I think, obviously, Walmart wins this. But a Costco, for example, which theoretically should, makes sense, except that it's trading at close to 43 times next year's numbers. This stock trades rich, but is it too rich, I guess, is my question. Well... I've covered that stock for over 20 years, and it's always expensive uh, from a valuation standpoint. And yet that stock looks like the perfect stock chart you'd want to own for the long term. We still like Costco very much. You know, the, the more affluent consumer shops there, the middle income consumer shops there, they offer the best value. And you really do get tremendous uh, good deals for the membership price that you're paying there. So I think Costco is still one of the winners, even in that type of an environment where we do start to see uh, and we have seen some of these layoffs. I'm curious. This is Julie. I'm curious what your thoughts are in terms of the importance of execution in this environment versus just being in a certain income segment. Is Which is more important to you right now? Well, I, I do think execution is key. And, you know, the best retailers out there, the big guys like, you know, Walmart, um, Costco, Home Depot, we see very good execution from these guys retailers. And I think that that is something that people are focused on. You know, expectations for 2024, I think, have come down quite a bit in the past few weeks. I mean, you know, we saw the stock skyrocket once the Fed, you know, sort of indicated a pivot. And now as they've pulled back on the timing of that, these stocks have started to level off and even pull back a little. So I think execution is going to be a big driver combined with their commentary about how they, they see the year shaping up, which I think they're going to talk a lot about it being a back half weighted year uh, from a consumer's perspective. How does Home Depot uh, look to you, Joe? You're, you're saying that you think the first half of this year is going to be kind of challenging. Yeah, no, I think it's going to be much of the same that we've seen the past uh, several months for Home Depot, for Lowe's, floor and decor, that whole home improvement side of the, the market. You know, everybody wants to see the, the housing market ease up and get a little better. I know home um, values are high, which is generally a good indicator for Home Depot and Lowe's, but the spending has been challenged. And I think it's because, you know, people aren't able to borrow against their homes. They're taking on, they did a lot of big projects during the pandemic that you don't have to do right now. And so they're being more cautious with how they've been spending. And so we're probably going to see similar trends first half of this year. And second half, hopefully that starts to ease up a little bit. And that feels like, you know, those stocks got a little bit ahead of themselves again with that, you know, since that move from December till today, um, you know, I, I feel like they're, they, they feel a little uh, pricey for where they mm -hmm. are at the moment.